up at your father's door and say you're in trouble and the first thing he assumes is I'm pregnant. Is there a question in there? I think there's an interesting story in there. I mean, my father thinks I've been a little too cavalier in my personal life. <laughs> I see. Let me ask you something. Have you ever told someone, not a relative, I love you? Yes. More than one someone? Yes. Well, well, then my father would say you've been a little too cavalier in your personal life, too. So you get your sense of absolute certainty from him, do you? Well, I'm sure I don't know what you mean. Well, you're certain the treasure is real, despite what anyone else thinks. No, but I hope it's real. I mean... I've dreamt it's real since my grandfather told me about it. I don't want to hold it. I feel like I'm so close I can taste it. But I just, I, I just want to know it's not just something in my head or in my heart. People don't really talk that way, you know? I know, but they think that way. Hey! Get it, Riley. Oh, I got it. The vision to see the treasured past comes as the timely shadow crosses in front of the house of Pass and Stowe. Now, Pass and Stowe, of course, <laughs> referring to... The Liberty Bell. Why, why do you have to do that? Well, John Pass and John Stowe cast the bell. Okay. Well, then what does the rest of this mean? Well, the vision to see the treasured past must refer to a way to read the map. Well, I, th I thought the cipher was the map. No, the cipher was a way to find the way to read the map. And the way to read the map can be found where the timely shadow crosses in front of the Liberty Bell. Crosses in front of the house of the Liberty Bell, Independence Hall. All right, so timely shadow, it's a specific time. Uh, uh, what time? What time? What time? Wait, wait, wait. You're gonna love this. Excuse me, can I see one of those uh, $100 bills I paid you with? No. Oh, well, uh, here, I have this uh, diver's watch. It's called a Submariner. I dive with it. It's actually quite valuable. You can use it as collateral. Whatever. Thank you. On the back of a $100 bill is an etching of Independence Hall based Hello. on a painting done in the, thank you, in the 1780s. Who, and this guy, the artist was actually a friend of Benjamin Franklin's. It's wonderful. Fascinating. Hold this. Okay. I'm not going anywhere. Now, I think that if we look at this clock tower, we may find the specific time. What do you see? 2.22. What time is it now? Almost three. I missed it. No, we didn't. We didn't miss it because... But you don't know this? I know something about history that you don't know. I'd be very excited to learn about it, Riley. Oh, hold on one second. Let me just... I'm just taking this moment. This is... This is cool. Is this how you feel all the time? Because, you know... Except for now, of course. Riley! All right. What I know is that daylight savings wasn't established until World War I. If it's 3 p.m. now, okay, that means in 1776, it would be 2 p.m. Riley, Go. you're a genius. Yeah. Do you actually know who the first person to suggest daylight savings was? Benjamin Franklin. Franklin. 